Okay, so you're a developer, you work with Google Chrome, and if that is the case, you are gonna be working with the dev tool built into Google Chrome all the time. That means you're gonna be seen in two shades, most likely, or two themes. This black theme, which you're seeing right here, or the other option, when you go to settings, is the light theme. Now, since you are a developer, you probably wanna have customization right at the fingertips. I'm gonna show you how to do that. But, it's for Google Chrome. Now, I did find an article on a Microsoft blog about how to apply a color theme to dev tools, but this is for the Microsoft Edge browser, which is not gonna help us. So upon doing some digging, the easiest solution to this to provide customization into your dev tools is go to Chrome Web Store and then find the Material Dev Tools theme collection and go ahead and add it to your extensions. Once you've added it, we're gonna now open it and voila, you have over 20 different themes to pick from. This is a very common and very popular material theme UI that is used in Adam. I don't think that's right, the, the, the code platform or Visual Code Studio. So in this case, I'm just gonna hit Deep Ocean and let's go ahead and also change the font family. Now the font family is gonna be tied to the fonts you have uploaded onto your computer. In this case, since I'm using a Mac, and the Mac operating system, I believe it uses what is called, just pull up this screen right here. What's what's called, what do they call this? Um, that's not, I think it's called Fontbook. That's what it's called. This, this is called Fontbook. So in this case, I'll just use American typewriter. And the cool thing when you are doing this customization is you'll actually see what your customization will look like upon doing it. So let's go ahead and do American typewriter. Okay, and there we go. So now we see that the font has changed. Let's go ahead and beef up the font just a little bit. And let's go ahead and change the accent color to a nice agua blue, huh? Let's do agua blue. That was an agua blue. There we go. So let's go do something bluish. Okay, so now we made our customization. Let's go ahead and just click out of this box, open up our developer tools and just say goodbye to the white because <laughs> that really gets my eyes. <laughs> um, let's then go to experiments. We want to uncheck, or in this case, maybe you don't have a check, but we want to check allow extensions to load custom style sheets. Maybe if you already have a check, you need to uncheck it and recheck it because that is what allows your dev, dev tools to then have the ability for you to click reload dev tools. So we're going to click reload dev tools. And look at that, nothing's changed. Well, that's because I need to open up a new tab once I've opened up a new tab, we're going to open up DevTools. So count off in three, two, one. Look at that. DevTools has changed. <laughs> DevTools has not changed. Why has DevTools not changed? Can we get a look? Why the DevTools has not changed? There we go. You have to be in the dark mode, apparently. When you do light, nothing's going to happen. You need to be in dark. There's probably a reason why, but the purpose of the video is not dissecting why that is the case. But check that out. You now have a very cool, um, you can do a lot more customization than this, but yeah, look, the DevTools is completely different now. So that's pretty cool. Um, give it a look, give it a try, and see how this enhances your workflow when you provide customization into your DevTools. Ciao, ciao for now. Xander signing off. Los memes al próximo. Muchísimas gracias por tu atención. <laughs>